first of all I would like to say I'm sorry for not uploading in over a year and secondly I would like to really thank the support we got so much track on that video even though this is a complete new channel well probably old now and uh, I'm really grateful for all the support 20 subs and almost a thousand views that's that's incredible I would have never expected it and I really hope it can help someone and I think it did because you guys had a few questions that I would love to answer. One of the questions was, what do, does BFS look for on a student? And they should have a good portfolio prior to applying. I will speak for my personal experience because I do not know if the other programs require a better portfolio. But for me, Having the engineering background helped a lot, and I didn't need to prove that much. Um, besides, uh, they sent me a couple of tests uh, in which they wanted to know a bit of the narrative and design mindset that I have, so they made me write a small game design document, um, pretty simple, and just come up with a few mechanics and see how much uh, you understand of game design itself. But it's not too difficult, you probably can do it in around uh, a couple hours. Uh, hardest thing is probably um, thinking of a game that you would like, or if you already have a game in mind like I did at the time, just go for it. One of the other questions was, why not make a video in Sp on Spanish? Well, if you're trying to live in Canada and you want to apply for Vancouver Film School, one pre-requirement is knowing English. There is nothing much to say. You need to learn English. I'm sorry. This, that's why I made a video in English. You're gonna meet people for over all over the world if you end up coming here. I have more friends that are not from Canada itself, but from all over the world, that English is the common language because that's what you're supposed to know. You're coming to an English-speaking country, also French, but mostly English-speaking, at least on the West Coast. Uh, another question was, one of the comments said that they had a computer science degree prior to coming to BFS and if coming here to game design was a good idea afterwards. And to me, yeah, of course, let's get something clear. There are two very similar programs uh, with the game design and the programming for games plus mobile and web development. At the end of the course, you get to make a huge final project in collaboration with two of the programs. My final team, we made a game for the game design program and the programming uh, only side gets to choose whether they want to make an app, a page or a game. Most people go for games and we have five game designers and one programming only student. Having a computer science degree, you can go for the game design program or the programming side. If you're really strong in programming, maybe you only need the game design so you can understand a bit more about game production. But if you really want to polish that or if you're completely new to programming, uh, it's a really good Basically, it's like a one-year bootcamp in which you get a crash course on of everything in programming. If you come from a computer science degree or you know nothing, both the game design and the programming side are really good. Really, really good question was, and it came up like once or twice or thrice in the comments is, what's the high end rate? The high end rate is a difficult matter to discuss because it all depends on how good you are and what your background is. If you add those two up, you probably get higher. That being said, it's difficult for foreign nationals like myself to get a job here in Canada straight away. They're the most people that got hired, and I have to say, is those that knew programming from the game design program and the programming side straight away. Uh, luckily, I actually didn't get hired in the gaming industry, but I got hired to work on Unreal Engine in the film industry. Well, animation industry. It's weird, but I get to work in Unreal Engine and I'll do some pipeline pipeline stuff, which, which is pretty neat. I still get to work in Unreal Engine and my dream came true of staying in Canada. I'll be starting hopefully in a couple weeks. The work permit thing is a huge deal <laughs> and it takes a long time for it to be processed. And of course, of COVID, it's way more difficult than it normally is. So for the hiring rate, I would say if you have a good background and you have the credentials and develop a good networking strategy for your time at BFS and you have a strong team and you make a huge final project, start using LinkedIn a lot and just do things by yourself, I think you'll, you'll make it and you'll get hired. You just need to try. Most of us, after getting the study permit, got around three more months in which you can 
used to look for a job after school finishes. BFS does not grant a post-graduation work permit uh, because it is not a university nor a college technically. If you wish to have that, you would need to go to something different like BCIT, uh, SFU to name a few. Uh, so it's one year intensive program in which you learn a lot. There is a pitch and play event, which is just uh, kind of like an kind of like an industry night in which you get to show your final projects. Which uh, mine is called Unworthy Roses, by the way. Shameless plug. I was able to be project manager and one of the programmers for the game. We made it in Unreal Engine, and it's super cool. You can check it out in the description. Unworthy Roses, pretty cool. Bit buggy. We maybe have overscoped, but in the end, we were pretty happy about it. Also, I guess uh, beyond game design, there are artists and level designers are also, also an option for careers. So you have programming, level design and art. Uh, also production and project management, but that's a bit more difficult to get into if you're newer to the industry. That maybe comes later. Artists, I think I, I think they have it a bit more difficult because the competitiveness over there is huge. You need to have a really strong art station for you to get hired and just make a portfolio piece every now and then. Level design is also pretty difficult because there is, uh, it is not something that is taught on schools in which you get a degree from. It's really difficult. If you have any further questions, please let me know. I'll make it another shameless plug. Normally stream on Twitch. I, over there I'm way more active. These days, twitch.tv slash MikeBellamyH in the description, you can check it out. I play games, and if you guys have any further questions, I can also answer them directly live on stream. And thank you for being here, leave a like, subscribe, and again, comment whatever questions you have, and I can make and more videos, I can talk about my experience furthermore. But overall, I think BFS is a huge uh, and great experience for you to get into the gaming industry. Again, I'm sorry for the people that asked about film and other industries. I, I'm on a different campus than that. I was on a different campus, so I don't know much about them. Being in COVID, we, I spent half the time at the campus and half the time online. So it was difficult to mingle and ask questions to other students. But I hope this helped. And the year of the pandemic is about to end. Happy New Year.